Hello, we will discuss now some tools designed in view of extracting useful visual information from the results of a siesta calculation. We will now consider the scripts aimed at elucidating the crystal structure information, properties defined on the grid, and lattice vibrations. Now I intend to present you two sets of post-processing tools designed to extract useful and visual information from uh, siesta calculations. This information relates uh, in particular to crystal structures, to lattice vibrations and to identifying properties calculated on the grid. There are two systems of tools known under the name of CS2XSF and uh, the smaller and more recent one which is called XV2 Vesta. The oldest one um, exists already since quite a time and it has been presented at earlier siesta uh, schools and tutorials and documented in the uh, files uh, the addresses to which are indicated here on the page and uh, quite recently within the publication uh, devoted to recent development of applications of siesta also the role and the possibilities uh, of these tools has been um, mentioned. In particular, and what uh, regards the CS2XSF feed, uh, this is the selection of tools which I intended to translate the information from uh, Siesta files into the format proper to the XCRISDEN software. And uh, in particular, there are five tools which uh, have been uh, written in uh, Fortran and they can be easily compiled and linked uh, um, within the package as they are provided. And the purpose of these tools are the first one serves just to visualize the crystal structure and to check that uh, the position of atoms and uh, the structure information is correctly grasped for the calculation. Then uh, the next one, row to XCF, serves to translate the property calculated on a grid, such like uh, chart density or potential or local density of states, to the format proper to XCRISDEN. Then uh, the third tool serves to visualize the vibrations, uh, which result from the uh, Vibra calculation on top of uh, preceding siesta calculation. Right? And this can, be, this can be done either in a static way by just attributing arrows to the atoms or by creating an, an animated movie which shows how the atoms vibrate. Then uh, yet another tool uh, serves to construct uh, the movie from the data of molecular dynamics, either MD or any file. And uh, the finally, there is an option to plot uh, the Fermi surfaces, uh, starting from uh, the information about bent energies and uh, key points. Well, um, the native format of XCRISDEN software is uh, XSF and uh, uh, another useful software which I will mention, which is called Vesta, is also permits to read directly this uh, XSF uh, format for the crystal structure information. This XCRISDEN software has been originally created and maintained by Tony Kokal, and uh, it has been used on uh, very many occasions in um, scientific publications. Uh, so this is a very flexible tool, um, which is also uh, free for the non-commercial use. So this is a tool which is uh, highly appreciated by many colleagues. And another software, Vesta, is uh, being uh, maintained by Koichi Moma, 
Uh, this uh, tool is very strong in uh, what regard the crystallography, manipulating the structures, and also the uh, graphical quality of um, uh, results which are which are generated is also very impressive. So these are good reason for using uh, either of these tools. Then. Um, uh, how to use uh, the tools uh, of uh, the CS2X SF suite? Uh, in fact, uh, they can be run just on the command line, starting them uh, from the terminal, and uh, then uh, passing all the necessary parameters uh, as prompted. So there is no graphic interface, uh, no options to memorize, so this is relatively self-explaining. Mm, one should mention that uh, for some of these tools uh, one uh, has to define a visualization box. That is um, the volume or the shape within which the atoms will be selected and visualized. Uh, this box does not need to be um, identical or anyhow related with the unit cell or the supercell used in the in the uh, calculation and one just need to know how to define uh, the size, the position of this box. This is done by the reference point and giving the three axes which pass through this reference point and specifying further on the distances along this axis uh, to the positive direction, to the neg negative direction. We just cut the size of the, of the cuboid uh, which will serve the role of our visualization box. We will see uh, further on in the examples how this works. And uh, as for the Fermi sur surface calculation, one should mention that uh, we need the band energies calculated on fine, fine enough grid, and this uh, K mesh grid uh, has to be uh, non shifted. That uh, means that the gamma point should be explicitly included into this grid. Then a smaller package exists uh, which uh, translates uh, uh, information from Siesta directly to the native format of the Vesta package. Uh, in fact, this uh, smaller package, uh, smaller suite uh, consists just of two tools. XV to Vesta just transforms the crystal structure information and VIP to Vesta transforms the vibration. And if uh, the first uh, tool Mm, in fact, um, is um, not so necessary because uh, Vesta can uh, directly read the data in the native uh, format of X Chris Then, uh, for vibrations, this um, indeed uh, makes uh, sense uh, because uh, the Vesta package offers much more flexibility in assigning uh, properties to arrows and placing the arrows, uh, attributing them colors and uh, thickness and so on and so forth. So this becomes a very powerful tool which uh, uh, permits to create uh, very uh, uh, nice figures uh, visualizing the vibrations. So then we will pass to the discussion of some examples of how to use these tools. We consider now some examples of using these tools and uh, viewing the results of the analysis with the x Den or uh, Vesta. We start with the simplest uh, example of just uh, visualizing the structure. In this directory we have a xv file which we want to transform into xsf format. In fact, uh, we just run the script and we pass the name of the file. Then we should confirm to overwrite this uh, uh, resulting file. And then we can visualize the structure with the xcristen. We open this file. So, um, we see uh, this is in fact a layer structure with uh, some uh, adsorbed atoms. 
In order to see it better, we just double it in the z direction. Okay. Then we clearly see the structure of this uh, system. And then we can uh, modify it as we wish uh, using just uh, the uh, options provided in the xcrisden file. And uh, we see uh, that, uh, okay, this is the regular, re regular layer and uh, atoms which are situated in some distance. Voilà. Now, if you want to see how the same file will look like when loaded into Vesta, so do okay. So this is the way it looks like in Vesta, right? So again, there are different options how one can choose the size of the uh, part of the system to show, uh, how to connect the atoms by uh, choosing uh, the chemical bonds, and, and so on and so forth, how to measure the distances, and so on. So this is just an example how the XSF file can be directly read into Vesta. Okay, our next example is that of a property calculated on the grid. In this directory uh, we have um, the charge density file and we will plot it or um, more precisely we will plot the magnetic density. Right? So in order to create or to recreate XSF file with the script, I just run the script O to XSF. Okay, then I pass the generic name of the file RFM01. Yeah. So this is generic name of the file XV and RO. Then I have to make some definitions. So I choose the angstrom as a unit of length. Then I define my reference point for choosing the visualization box. Then I define the first axis and uh, the size of the visualization box measured along this axis will be from minus 8 to 8 angstrom. Then I do the same for the second axis. So this is more or less arbitrary, but I just repeat it like this. And then for the third axis, and I do the same and then I confirm the to overwrite the file which already existed before and uh, finally I need to define the number of grid points right for my visualization with the x crease then so I just pass three numbers large enough to have uh, to have uh, the fine mesh and I confirm the the properties also this is raw Okay, so this is interpolated read and that's it. So this file has been created and now I can run xcrisden and open this file in xcrisden. So I go and open rfm01.xsf. So this is a file which shows, uh, well, the structure, well, in fact, it's a kind of fine cluster and so on, cubic shape. And uh, we want to create to show the charge density, right? In order to see charge density, I go to tools and I choose data grid, and then I identify that I want to add two components. So, the spin up, I will take it with the weight one, and the spin down, I take it with the weight minus one, and I submit. Right. And then finally to get uh, to get the image, I need to identify the ISO value. So I will say take something like this and then I submit. Okay. And I see some fragments of the surface. And in order to see it more 
announce it so I reduce the level of the contour so this gradually becomes less and less okay so then I can choose the way to show my atoms it will be shown just by sticks without bulbs right and so okay so this is the arrangement of positive and negative charge density well and then it can be further on analyzed printed out and so on now as a final example uh, we consider visualization of vibrations in this directory uh, we have um, the structure file of a semiconductor of calcopyrite structure and the results of uh, gamma phonon calculations namely the vectors file now we want to select some of the phonon modes and uh, make a picture and make an animation of uh, these modes and I run uh, vip 2 xcf I confirm the uh, siesta because this is the label of xv file and then I define the visualization box as I did before more or less I do the same so I define the reference uh, point then I choose uh, I choose the vectors the second direction along the y-axis and then the third direction something like this and then I need to confirm the system label for vibrator calculation which in this case is called vibra so and then I need to identify the modes and totally there are 48 modes so I'll just take the two uh, uh, two final one 47 and 48 and then I identify the amplitude of displacement for uh, animation for the visualization and I define the number of steps okay then uh, apparently this figures already existed so I need to confirm overwriting them and that's it so this is done and open xcris then open xcris then and <coughs> I can open the animation By animation I have the mode number 48 and the animated file is with the extension axsf right. so there are the atoms which has been selected in my visualization box and voila. so this is how it moves yeah? so I can change the orientation of the fragment and still still have the visualization okay this was the dynamic uh, way of um, uh, representing vibration uh, otherwise I can choose the static way so open xsf file for the same mode and then I need to display forces so something I switch it on and off voila so now my directions of the atomic movement are indicated by arrows and then I can modify the properties of these arrows and uh, well make them longer or shorter and uh, then choose the way uh, to export uh, this result